Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. It's my favorite time of year. The Sephora sale is right around the corner. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think is worth it to buy. My recommendations, it's mainly makeup. I'm not gonna lie, it's mainly makeup. I do have some hair care as well. I didn't do skincare this time around though because my skin has just been all over the place. I don't even know. So we're not doing skincare. We're focusing on makeup, a little bit of hair. Okay, I lied. I do have one skincare item and it is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love this moisturizer so much. It works so well to prep for makeup. Hydrates the skin, gives it a nice plumpness and it doesn't pill. If you know me, you know that is my biggest pet peeve. No pilling with this one right here. And I know it's kind of expensive, which is why if you're ever gonna get it, the Sephora sale is the time to do so. I've been so obsessed with this primer lately. It's the Iconic London Underglow Primer. It just gives the skin such a beautiful lit from within glow. It blurs your pores. It looks beautiful under makeup. Makeup applies beautifully on top. Just 10 out of 10, highly recommend this. I have so many foundations that I absolutely adore, but if I, like what is wrong with me? I have so many foundations that I absolutely adore, but if I had to pick two, it would be these two. We have the Makeup Forever HD Skin, and then this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. These are both a medium coverage, natural finish. They are both so beautiful on the skin. They also feel lightweight, which I love, and you can build up the coverage, especially with this one. If I'm having like a bad skin day, I know that this one will perform a little bit better than this one, but they're both stunning. This one looks gorgeous in person on the skin. Well, they both do, but I'd say like this one's more for the like in person person type of like gorgeous. This one looks stunning on camera. I'm wearing it today. They just both never fail me. I absolutely love these. The Hourglass Vanish Concealers. I, I love these so much. They're full coverage, which I love. That's what I'm looking for. I'm a full coverage girl, but they also just look beautiful on the skin. They make the under eye look super, super airbrushed. They're creamy, they're long wearing, and you do not need a lot of this. I feel like a lot of time when people don't like this, it's because they're like using too much. You do not need a lot at all. While we're on the topic of hourglass concealers, I have to mention the hourglass concealer brush as well. This is amazing. I love the shape. It's super soft as well. It's just amazing. It's the first concealer brush I go to reach for. I don't even use a beauty blender or anything. This one will just do the work for you. It's so, so good. It's pricey, but hourglass brushes are such good quality, so I know she'll last you a very long time. Another one of my holy grail concealers is the Lancome Tint Idol. These are so good. By far my most crease resistant concealers. I'm gonna be honest with you, if you have fine lines under your eyes, concealer will always crease. The lines are there, it's gonna settle. But of all the concealers I've tried, this one is the most crease resistant and it's a full coverage. Looks beautiful under the eyes. Yeah, can't go wrong, love this. When it comes to setting the under eyes, Huda Beauty, She's my fave. This is their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I specifically love the shade Cupcake. I feel like Cherry Blossom is a little bit too pink for me. This one is perfect. It's like slightly pink, enough to brighten the under eye, but not too much. This powder is so finely milled. It'll blur any sort of texture you have. Huda really slayed when she came out with this. It's been one of my favorites for years. When it comes to setting spray, these two will forever be my favorites. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Locks in your makeup all day long. I'm not kidding, this is so good. I think I've been through like 10 of these now, maybe more, I don't even know. As you can see, I'm like half done the jumbo size. I use this every single day. And then if I'm really looking for a heavy duty setting spray, this is it. This is the one size on till dawn. I mean, it really will get the job done. Your makeup will be on all day with this. Very heavy duty. It's an aerosol. It really gives like hairspray. I know like some people will use hairspray to set their face. With this, you get the longevity of a hairspray, but not the toxic ingredients. I mean, maybe some but definitely not as many. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a chemist. I just know that this will keep my makeup in place all day. When it comes to bronzer, this is the bronzer I reach for most often. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. It is amazing. It's not patchy, it blends in like butter. It has a beautiful like luminosity to it. Sometimes with bronzer, it can be scary. They go on super aggressively patchy. I have never had a single issue with this one. The pigment is also perfect. You can build it up and like, it's not the kind to be like super overwhelmingly pigmented at first. I don't like that either. I wanna be able to build it up. I don't think I'll ever find a better bronzer than this one. And we might as well talk about their blushes as well because they're just as good. This is the ambient lighting blush in the shade Luminous Flush. Again, it kind of gives that luminosity to the skin. It doesn't look powdery at all. It looks like this glow from within. Blends in like a dream, never patchy. Again, these two 
were pretty pricey, so this for sale is the perfect time to pick them up. That's actually the case for most of the products I have in front of me, so I'm just gonna stop saying that, but I do know Hourglass is on the pricier side, so if you're gonna try them, now's the time. If you're looking for more of a liquid blush, I absolutely love the Say Do blushes. These blend in like a dream, and they give the skin such a gorgeous glow. They have so many gorgeous shades, but I specifically love the shade Rosy, especially for my skin tone. It is like the perfect pink. But yeah, this formula is incredible. It's pigmented, but not too much. Sometimes when a blush is too pigmented, it's so easy to go overboard. <laughs> Speaking of going overboard with blush, I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I think we all know by now that these are amazing. Super, super pigmented, blend in really well. They have so many beautiful colors to choose from. I have all of them. These are my favorites. This is Encourage, Bliss, Hope, and Virtue. I think this one might be limited edition though, but even these three are just stunning. If you haven't tried these, you might as well. When it comes to contour, this is the one I reach for most often. It's the Westman Atelier Face Trace in the shade Biscuit. I find that this contour shade is perfect for me. The undertone is perfect. It's not too cool. I just feel like sometimes they can look a little bit gray, but this one doesn't. It's honestly perfection. Blends in like butter. This is the full size, but they have a mini as well if you just wanna try it out. And then if you're looking for a bronzer, the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick is so good. Blends in like butter, looks beautiful. It already gets so much hype, but for good reason. I have the shade Happy Soul. I also like it because it's not too warm. It's not like orange. A lot of the time a bronzer can look very orange, but this one I find is the perfect undertone. Warm, but not too much. Oh my God, I still have more blush to get through. Like, how is this? Of all the blushes on this list though, if you're gonna get one, let it be the Patrick Ta Duos. These are amazing because you have a cream on the bottom and then a powder on top. I always like to work in two layers when it comes to like contour, bronzer, blush, just to make sure it's really lasting all day. So to have them both in one compact little package, it's perfect. The formula is also amazing. The cream is so creamy, so beautiful. It also adds a beautiful dewy glow to the skin. And then the powder is super velvety, super pigmented, blends in like a dream, never patchy. I really love the shade Not Too Much. It's what I'm wearing today. I just think it's gorgeous, so wearable, but they have so many good shades. You really can't go wrong with any of them. <laughs> when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I feel like nobody does it quite like Patrick Ta. These are definitely the eyeshadow palettes I reach for most often. And if I'm gonna recommend one, it would have to be the Major Dimension 3 specifically, but all of them are stunning. I just love this one because it's the most wearable. I go for a soft glam look like this every day, so these are incredible for that. They are so pigmented. They blend in like butter. I know they're expensive, but in my opinion, they are 100% worth the money. I think the Rare Beauty Brow Gel deserves a moment. This is so good. I have such stubborn brow hairs. I have honestly tried so many products to like get the laminated brow look and none of them work. There's always at least a few hairs that are like resisting. I tried to laminate my brows with this brow gel. They stayed in place all night long. I was honestly so impressed, but not just that. I use this every day for like my regular brows. It just keeps them in place all day long without like being crusty or hard really. Like they don't feel hard to the touch. You know what I mean? It's just such a good brow gel. When it comes to lip liner, I'll say it, I'm obsessed. I am. It's one of my favorite products ever. So it was so hard to narrow it down, but I've got to say these Makeup Forever lip liners. Oh, my light. No worries, I got a backup. When it comes to liners, these Makeup Forever liners have my heart. They are amazing. Specifically the shade Wherever Walnut and Anywhere Caffeine. They're so good on my skin tone. I love them. Everyone also raves about Endless Cacao, but I just feel like it's a little bit gray on me. Maybe when I'm a little bit tanner, but when I'm pale, these two are perfection. They also are so creamy, so long wearing. Like I'll sit through an entire dinner and I'll still have my lip liner on. I'm impressed. Really highly recommend these. Another really good liner specifically for the shade is the ABH liner in Muted Mauve. It's just such a beautiful nude and it's also kind of cool toned, which I've been really into lately. I feel like these two can look a little bit warm, but this is like the perfect cool tone. I'm wearing it today, actually. Again, super creamy, long wearing, perfection. And then when it comes to lipstick, no formula will ever top the Charlotte Tilbury formula. They're creamy, they're long wearing, and I cannot stress this enough. I love their selection of nudes. I am a huge nude lip girly. I've tried so many and I always, always, always gravitate towards the Charlotte Tilbury, specifically Penelope Pink, Nude Kate, and of course, Kim KW. She's my all-time favorite. Okay, 
Makeup is done, let's get into hair. If you're gonna get anything on this list, let it be the Color Wow Dream Coat. I can't even tell you how good this is. Like, I am so impressed. You don't even need to use it every time. I use it like every three or four washes. I think that's what it says on, yeah. Long lasting, use every three to four washes. But throughout that time, it'll really keep your hair so sleek and smooth. When I fell in love with this was in Europe when I was traveling during the summer. It was so humid out, but my hair was still slaying. It was so sleek. That's when I really realized like, holy shit, this is so good. 100% recommend trying this if you haven't already. If your hair is super damaged, the K18 Bond Repair is amazing. I feel like I've really gotten my hair to such a healthy state, but I have had it be so dry and this really saved me in those times. You need so little of this as well. A little goes such a long way. If you have damaged hair, please, please try this. I've also really been loving the Briogeo. I think that's, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. The Briogeo Farewell Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. This is really good, you guys. I remember the first time I tried this, I let my hair air dry just because usually when I let my hair air dry, it, it doesn't slay. It does not look good. It gets so frizzy. But I put this in, I let my hair air dry, and I just kept noticing as it was getting drier, it was not like frizzing up and I was so shocked. And then when it was completely dry, I looked in the mirror and like my waves were coming in. Not too much, because usually I need like a curl cream for that, but they were still, like the texture of my hair looked beautiful and usually it doesn't. Because I'm always straightening it or giving myself a blowout, the natural texture of my hair is usually all over the place. But when I use this, it looks beautiful. Like I am really love this. Finally, last but not least, we've got the Kerastase Nutritive Magic Night Serum. I'm not kidding when I say this will transform your hair overnight. I especially love it if I'm doing like a heatless curl. I'll put it in my hair, I'll do the heatless curls, and then the next day, my hair looks so good. This kind of saves me on day like three or four when my hair starts to get really like dry and gross and I don't want to wash it and like put conditioner in it. This kind of like really just smooths the hair cuticle so that it like looks nice and silky again. I really, really love this product. Okay, and that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you.